How's it going on Thursday, April 6, 2023? I've been, I'm doing a series of videos right now, baseball records. Last video I did fewest strikeouts by Hall of Fame baseball players. This video, home runs. Obviously, a lot of people have talked about home runs. I want to focus on those who are in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Who's number one in home runs? We know it's Henry Aaron, 755. Number two, Babe Ruth, 714. Willie Mays, number three, 660. Those who are in the Hall of Fame. I'm not talking about those who haven't made it. This is the ranking. Henry Aaron hit 755 home runs. Did you know? You, you probably do know this. He played 3,298 games and hit 755. Had over 12,000 at bats. Number two is Babe Ruth, 714. We know that number, right? Everybody should know that. But you know that Babe Ruth played 795 less games than Henry Aaron. Aaron played 795 more games than Babe Ruth, and yet he beats him in home runs by 41. Ruth had over about 8,000 official at-bats, 8,300 some odd at-bats. Aaron had 12,000 some odd at-bats. That's a difference of 4,000 at-bats So we can say Aaron is number one. Yes, he is. 755 homers. Ruth is number two, 714. Don't you, if you were to ask the question, who's the greatest home run hitter of all time, you got to say Babe Ruth because Aaron had 4,000 more at bats than Ruth. Nothing to take away from Aaron. He did it. But if Ruth had 4,000 more at bats, like Aaron, how many home runs would he have ended up with? 4,000 at bats for Aaron, for, for Ruth. Well, in a season, you get 500 at bats. That's about eight seasons. 4,000 more at bats. If you have 500 at bats, right? Eight times five is 40. So eight more seasons, and let's say he averages... 30, 35, or 40 homers a year, right? Eight times 40 would be 320, right? Eight times 30 would be what? Eight times three is 24, 240 more homers. So if Ruth has 714, add two, maybe 300 more home runs. It's possible that Babe Ruth if he had 4,000 more at-bats or eight more seasons with 500 at-bats, he could have ended up with 1,000 home runs. I don't think that's unrealistic. Do you? Anyways, I'm going to talk about baseball records. There's 168 players, position players in the Baseball Hall of Fame, and we got to rank them. And so I want to go through the numbers Comment on a couple guys as I go along the way, okay? Aaron, 755. Ruth, 714. Willie Mays, if I turn here, because I'm looking at the list, okay? And I'll come back. Mays, 660. Griffey, 630. Jim Tomey, 612. Frank Robinson, 586. These are guys in the Hall of Fame. If I'm missing somebody, that means they're not in the Hall of Fame. Harmon Killebrew, 573. Reggie Jackson, 563. Mike Schmidt, 548. David Ortiz, 541. Just got into the Hall of Fame a couple years ago. Props to him. Good slugger. Mickey Mantle, 536. He did it in 18 years. Some of these other guys took 20 years, 22 years. Mantle, and he's hurt a lot. Mantle's another guy. He could have uh, 
than in the 700 club if he had a good 22 years and he was healthy all that time. Because he was a slugger, Mickey Mantle. You got to consider him one of the greatest home run hitters of all time. Mickey Mantle, 536. Jimmy Fox, 534. Willie McCovey, 521. Frank Thomas, 521. Ted Williams, 521. Now, he's another guy. He missed three or four years because of the military. He could have been in the 700 club. What if for Ted Williams? It's too bad he couldn't have kept going. You know those years that he missed? He was in his prime. That really irks me. Doesn't it irk you? The three or four years, and he ends up with 521 home runs. But during those years, he was prime in his 20s. So figure he hits 40 a year times three or four, maybe 150 more home runs. 521 and 150 would have been about 670, 680 for Ted Williams, maybe 700 club. Ernie Banks, 512. Eddie Matthews, 512. Mel Ott, 511. Eddie Murray, 504. Lou Gehrig, 493. He's another guy. 17 years for Lou Gehrig, and he got sick toward the end. And he was what? How old was Lou when he stopped playing? 36, 37. If he goes to 40, you know, he's a, he's a guy that if you give him four more years, he's over 600, 650. Maybe 700 club for Lou Gehrig. If he stays healthy, plays past 40, 41. Boy, what if for Lou Gehrig? Fred McGriff, 493, just made the haul. Stan Usual, 475. Willie Stargell, that's another guy. He was a slugger. He hit a ball out of Dodger Stadium, 500 feet. Chipper Jones, 468. Dave Winfield, 465. Collier Skrimsky, 452. Jeff Bagwell, 449. Vladimir Guerrero, 449. Andrew, Doss, Andrew Dawson, 438. Cal Ripken, 431. Mike Piazza, catcher, 427. I think he has the most as a catcher. Of course, he also played other positions. Billy Williams, 426. Duke Schneider, 407. Al Kaline, 399. Al, play a couple more games so you can get your 400th home run. He ends up with 399. What's up with Al Kaline? Come on. Johnny Bench, 389. Harold Baines, 384. Larry Walker, 383. Jim Rice, 382. Orlando Cepeda, 379. Tony Perez, 379. Carlton Fisk, a catcher, 376. Gil Hodges, 370. Ralph Kiner, this is an interesting character. 369 for Ralph Kiner. Did you know that he only played in 1,400 games and hit 369 homers? If Kiner plays, let's see, if he played the same number of games as Henry Aaron, he would need 1,800 more games. Consider this. So how many how many games in a year, right? 162, so 1,800, that's, that's about 10 years, 11 years of games. If Ralph Kiner plays 11 more years, so he gets 3,000 games, and he hits 30 a year, that's what? 30 or 40 a year for, for Kiner. Let's say 11 times 4 is 44, right? That's 440 more home runs. He has 369. Ralph Kiner could have been in the 700 club if he played 3,000 games. So he plays 1,472 and hits 369. There's a slugger for you, Ralph Kiner. Joe DiMaggio, 361. He's another one. Joe DiMaggio, oh, look here. He only played 1,700 games. If he plays another 1,200, Joe DiMaggio's in the 500, maybe 600 club. Boy, 
Johnny Mize, 359. Yogi Berra, 358. Catcher, Ron Sato, 342. Hank Greenberg, here's another guy. 331 home runs, but listen to this. 19, he, he plays in less games than Kiner. Greenberg played in 1,394 games. So in order for him to match Aaron, he would need 1,900 more games. 160 games in a season. That's 11, 12 more years for Greenberg. 12 times, let's say 30 home runs. 12 times 3, 360. 360 and 331. That's 700 club. There's another guy, Kiner and Greenberg. Could have made the 700 club if they played over 3,000 games. Gary Carter, 324. George Brett, 317. Scott Rowland just made the hall, 316. Ivan Rodriguez, 311, a catcher. Boy, if a catcher can hit over 300 homers, you got a good, valuable catcher. Edgar Martinez, DH, 309. Al Simmons, 307. Roger Hornsby, this guy's unique, 301 homers. This guy bats 400 three times. His high was 424. He has a 358 lifetime batting average and over 300 homers. Who else can lay that claim? Nobody else. Roger Hornsby, very unique. Chuck Klein, 300. On the nose, how about that? Ricky Henderson, leadoff guy, 297. Impressive. He's a stolen base king, right? Ricky Henderson. Greg Biggio, 291. Ryan Sandberg, 282. Larry Doby, 273. Joe Morgan, 268. Brooks Robinson, third base, 268. Roy Campanella. This is another guy. 260 career home runs, but listen to this. 1,200 games. Remember, Aaron plays 3,200 games. So... Campanella, 1,200. Give him 2,000 more games. He has 3,200. 160 games a year, 2,000. That's about 14 years. 14, and let's say he hits 30. It's 14 times 3. 14 times 3. That's another 400 homers. So he has 260, 400. He would be in the 600 club, Roy Campanella. If he had played 3,000 games. Derek Jeter, 260. Joe Gordon, 253. Robin Yount, 251. Goose Goslin, 248. Ted Simmons, 248. Hack Wilson, another guy, 244. Where is Hack Wilson here? Here he is. 1,300 games. He would need another 2,000 games to get over 3,000, right? To get to close to Aaron, it's 244 and 1300. Give him 15 years. Give him another 450. He's in the 600, 650 club. Hack Wilson. Roberto Clemente, 240. Earl Alvarell, 238. Gabby Harnett, 236. Paul Molitor, 234. Bobby Doerr, 223. Tony Oliva, 220. Jim Botney. 219, Roberto Alomar, 210, Kirby Puckett, 207. He had a short career because he got hurt. Kirby Puckett, feel sorry for him. He died young. He played 1,700 games and hit 200 homers. Give him another 1,500 games. He would be in the 400, maybe close to 500 for Kirby Puckett. Feel sorry for Kirby Joe Mudrick, 205. Bill Dickey, 202. Barry Larkin, 198. Ernie Lombardi, 190. Minnie Minosa, 186. Alan Trammell, 185. Charlie Geringer, 184. Harry Heilman, 183. Tony Lazario, 178. Joe Cronin, 170. Tim Raines, 170. Anna Slaughter, 169. Chick Happy, 164. Pete Rose, 
160, most career hits, 4,000 hits, but only 160 of them were homers, not a home run hitter. Bill Terry, 154, Lou Brock, 149, George Kelly, 148, Jackie Robinson, 141. Only played 10 years. He plays 20 years. He's probably in a 300 club. Roger Connor, 138. Bill Mazeroski, 138. Tony Gwynn, 135. 338 lifetime batting average, but not a home run hitter. I take Tony Gwynn, though, with eight batting titles and 338 lifetime. He knew how to hit the ball, but he wasn't going for the homers. Travis Jackson, 135. Zach Wheat, 132. Kiki Kyler, 128. Pee Wee Reese, 126. Sam Thompson, 126. Mickey Cochran, 119. Old school. Ray Boggs, 118. Ty Cobb, 117. Over 4,000 hits. Highest batting average of all time. 366 lifetime. Yet only 117 home runs. During that era... The ballparks weren't conducive to home runs. You had to have the inside the park home runs because some of those alleys were too far to hit over the fence. 117 for Ty Tom. Trish Speaker, another guy in that era. Three, 345 lifetime batting average. 117 homers. Paul Wayner, 113. Henny Manouche, 110. Dan Brothers, 107. Hugh Duffy, 106. Frankie Frisch, 105. Frank Lindstrom, 103. George Sisler, only 102 homers. That's a 340 lifetime batting average. He had 257 hits one year. In fact, in three year time, he had close to 800 hits in a three years period. Almost 800 hits. Ed Delante, 101. That's another guy. 346 lifetime batting average, but his career was cut short. Only played 20. He only played Ed Delante played 1800 games. And he has 101 homers. So he's not a home run hitter, but he had 2500 hits in 1800 games. Do you know that with Ed Delante? If he played over 3,000 games, he'd be close to about 4,500 or 4,800 hits if he played 3,000 games like Cobb and, Bro and Rose. In fact, if he played the same number of games as Pete Rose, I think Ed Delante would have had 5,000 hits. Yeah, well, he was on that pace. Hannes Wagner, 101. Eight batting titles for Hannes, only 100 homers, 101. All right, the rest of these guys are in single digits, or not single digits, but uh, under 100. Crawford, Hansen, 97. Baker, Vaughn, 96. Rod Carew, 92. Jake Beckley, 87. Red Chinuski, 84. Louis Aparicio, 83. Nap Lajoie. 82. He has over 3,000 hits, only 82 homers. George Kell, 78. Barry Hooper, 75. Jesse Burkett, 75. George Davis, 73. Buck Ewing, 71. Max Carey, 70. King Kelly, 69. Ed Rouge, 68. Lou Bergerow, 68. Fred Clark, 67. Joe Kelly, 65. Jimmy Collins, 65. Jim O'Rourke, way back, 1880s, right? 62. Pi Trainer, 58. He was, he was in the 1920s. What's up with him? 58. Early Combs, 58. Bid McPhee, 53. Joe Sewell, 49. Elmer Flick, 48. Billy Herman, 47. Eddie Collins, 3,000 hits, 333 lifetime batting average. Only 47 homers. Luke Appling, 45. Tom McCarthy, 44. Ross Youngs, 42. Billy Hamilton, 40. Phil Rezigio, 38. This is career, all these guys. Nellie Fox, 35. 
it's something a lot of guys hit 30 or 40 homers in a year and some of these guys for their career only hit 30 or 40. Bobby Wallace 34, Sam Rice 34, Willie Keeler 33, Dave Bancroft 32, Joe Tinker 31, Richie Ashburn what's up with him? 1950s 29 career home runs that's all Rabbit Marinville, 28. Rick Perrell, 28. Ozzie Smith, 28 career home runs. Lloyd Wainer, 27. John Ward, 26. Roger Bresenhan, 26. Frank Chance, 20. Huey Jennings, 18. Johnny Evers, 12. And the last on the list, number 168 of the players that I've ranked, Ray Chalk only hit 11 career home runs. And did you know that uh, some players hit 11 home runs in, their, in, 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 in the history of baseball? Some players have hit 11 home runs in about three weeks. And yet this guy, Ray Chalk, went his whole career and only hit 11. All right, that covers my baseball records, home runs. I thought it was interesting to go down through the list, comment on some of the guys. What do you think? Home runs, very unique thing in, in baseball history. And a lot of guys slugged a lot, and a lot of guys are right, right in the three, uh, a lot of guys in the 500s, 400s, 300s. And then you get a lot of guys that couldn't even reach 100 homers for their career. But anyway, each to his own. Thanks for watching here. I'm out.